the education that I receive and this hope that I have that I'll be able to use it in the world to bring something good in the lives of other individuals, I think that's more than a degree itself. I want to help end that cycle, you know, the cycle that I grew up in, because it's vicious. I realize that my calling is teaching, but teach God's word in a way that is powerful, uplifting, positive, and liberating. I don't see those barriers any longer. And so that's the one thing that I actually look forward to doing when I get out with this education is breaking down those barriers because I know them to be anti-gospel. Without this course, I would still would be wondering what's going to happen with me, you know. But now it's just I have so much hope. I have so much hope, you know, that this is something that's getting me prepared for something that that God has in store for me. We hosted a Lauren Daigle concert at Stateville. They were gonna be singing along with some of the men to do a couple of joint pieces for everybody. And she said to me, please don't let this be the last time I'm in here. We need to be in here. And when they were singing the last song, which was one of the Gaither hymns, something beautiful, something good, one of my students, my outside students, turned to me and said, the gospel sounds really different in here. Every word that we sing about all the time, freedom, liberation, forgiveness, it means something really different in here. And there was one moment when we went into the Panopticon and the environment is so inhumane that most of them in the world shut down and this particular one shut down last year. We went in there into that space, which is a space that, that can feel like visiting a site where you know people have died, have suffered. Um, when we went in there, it, we were silent for a moment and Lauren Daigle just started singing Amazing Grace in this space and it echoed off the walls and I thought this is analogous, that there is redemption happening everywhere and who are we to keep the walls that human beings put up? Who are we to keep people out and to think that God isn't working inside the walls just as he is working outside those walls? Because the barriers that human beings make between themselves and other human beings are anti-gospel.